Hi, I'm Ellie and welcome back to TechTricks channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to control your data based on date and check boxes. You will learn how to copy the entire row to the new sheet automatically after you add a new date. And also, you will learn how to move the row to the target sheet based on check boxes. Okay, enough talk. Let's see how to create this sheet. Alright, I start with creating the sheets. I need three other sheets. So I click on this plus sign and right mouse click on this sheet and choose rename. I call it before 2010. I do the same for after 2010. So I click on the plus sign and rename it. I'm gonna create a sheet for completed. Okay, all the sheets must have the same headers. Name, project, date, and completed. I change the font type and size. I make the background color yellow. Alright, I copy the headers and paste them to all sheets. I go back to the first sheet. Now I need a date picker for the date column. So I go to the data tab, data validation. Now I choose the entire column and its valid date for criteria. And done. As you can see, if I double click on the cell, the date picker will appear. For completed column, I need check boxes, so I add a rule. I choose the entire column and for criteria, check box. And done. The main sheet is ready. Now it is the code time. Let's go to the extension tab, App Script. I type the code, then I will explain it to you. This is the code. Let's explain it line by line for better understanding. This line defines the unedit function that will be triggered whenever there is an edit in the spreadsheet. This variable holds the name of the source sheet where the edits are being made. Replace sheet 1 with the actual name of your source sheet. These variables hold the name of the sheet where rows with dates before 2010, after 2010 and completed will be copied and moved. Replace names with the actual names of your destination sheets. This variable holds the index of the date column in the source sheet. Replace 3 with the index of your date column. The column numbers start from 1. This also holds the index of the completed column in the source sheet. You should replace 4 with the index of your completed column. Again, the column numbers start from 1. Now this variable holds the target date for the date condition. Rows with the dates before this target will be moved to the before 2010 sheet. Replace this date with your desired target date. This line gets the spreadsheet object from the source property. This line gets the active sheet where the edit was made. This line checks if the name of the edited sheet matches the source sheet name. If they don't match, the function returns and stops further execution. This line gets the range of cells that were edited, and these gets the row and column numbers of the edited range. For checking the edited column is the date column, getting the value of the edited cell, and checking the edited value is a valid date, these codes are needed. And these codes get the before 2010 and after 2010 sheets object 
by their names. This slide gets the raw data of the edited row using the getRange method and stores it in edited row data variable. Now, if the edited date is before the target date or after it, it will create a copy of that on the target sheets based on their name. At the end, these lines check the completed column. If the checkbox was true, it will move the entire row to the completed column and delete the edited row from the source sheet. Okay, this was the code. Now I click on the save icon. Alright, let's back to the sheet and test the code. I add a name and project title. Now I add a date. Alright, the date is after 20. Let's check the sheet. As you can see, there is a copy of the row in the after 2010 sheet. Let's add another one. This is before 2010. And you see a copy of that here. Now I click on the check box. As you can see, the row moves to the completed sheet and delete it from the main sheet. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that will show you how to move the entire row to the new sheet based on drop down list. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. Have any questions? Share with me in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.